Nothing less. Now, Chris, this is what we've been waiting for. Opening day, everyone starts with a clean slate, and optimism is high. <laughs> There's optimism for every team, even the ones in the <laughs> middle of rebuilds. And for the fans, I tell you, this is the best day ever because everybody's team is undefeated, and it's possible for anyone to win a championship. We're not in February, the doom days of February, where fans <laughs> have their head down because the record kind of shows them the reality of the situation. So right now, this Boy, is for the not. dreamers. This is for the fans to root their teams on. Optimism is abundant, but it won't, may not last that long for some teams. Uh, good perspective. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So the Lakers five right now. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. Brandon Ingram's out there with Ball, and it's James in at the small forward position. Stolen by Ball, and Ingram with a clear path to the basket, and slam dunk by Ingram. Solid is swiping the ball away. Ball is great at studying his man and anticipating his next move. Simmons against Ingram. Simmons passes to Simmons. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Now here's Ingram. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Oh, well, his rebounding stood out, too. He gave them a big lift on the boards. A shot's good from LeBron. Powerful, yet effective. James has always done a lot of damage from the mid-range. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. <laughs> Such a strong finisher for a floor general. He was up high, and he came down hard. Exquisitely done. Can you say poster? <laughs> Those are some impressive ups. Way to go, vertical. So it's the Lakers now. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Just five on the clock. Here's LeBron. Not enough on that one as it misses. He may have missed it, but that's a clean look at the basket. Harris finds Simmons. Outside for Simmons. Butler against James. Butler attacking. MB wide open. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Oh, this is the confidence the big man in B brings to the table. No hesitation shooting off the pass. Now here's Ingram. James outside. Shoots the three. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Oh, that's just amazing control from James right there. A superb ball handler for a guy his size. Simmons inside the line. That's good on the jump shot. Simmons got six points. Look, I don't know how he got that one to go. About as tough of a shot as you can think of. Simmons against Ingram. And stolen by Butler. Outside, Simmons. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Can't hit that one. Pass to Kuzma. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Butler feeling out a bit. Kicks it to Simmons. Now the pass to Simmons. Embiid against McGee. Shots good by Simmons. He's known for being a scorer. Embiid also is capable of finding his teammates and getting them going. Lakers trail by three. Ingram outside. Inside. Got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for McGee. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. And, yes, it's good. That's seven points for LeBron. His touch has been terrific this quarter. Most of what he puts up is going down. And Simmons kicks to Simmons. That's tipped. A solid shot blocker in his position. Boss Lynn. 
allows him to make a difference on this end. Well, he's got some pep in his step tonight. I wonder what he had to eat last night. I mean, very solid first quarter for him at the offensive end. Now here's Ingram. Passes it to LeBron. And stolen by Butler. Ingram against Simmons. Pass to Embiid. It's tipped. Lock at six. And Simmons kicks to Simmons. Shoots over ball. Off the left rim and out. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, that just shows you can do everything right sometimes but still get the wrong result. Pass to Kuzma. Now here's LeBron. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Indiana. Oh, well, his rebound, he stood out, too. He gave them a big lift on the board. Now here's Simmons. It's a three-point game. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. And Jonathan Simmons, the explosive wing player, Went undrafted, but has earned a spot in the NBA after a strong couple of years in the G League. Now he's established himself as a potent offensive player. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. On the free throw, no good. And for Simmons, when he was in the G League, he developed, Greg, his playmaking. Yeah, spent some time at, at point guard at that level, and I think it helps him in terms of finding ways to create shots for himself. He's definitely, though, at his best when the ball is in his hands. Not so much a spot-up player, but he can create offense for a team in a hurry. Here's Ingram. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Ball, no good. And here is Harris. He's coming off a 34-point game against Toronto. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. He also did a great job at creating for his teammates. So many assists tonight. So it's the Lakers now. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And Jimmy Butler's a very physical wing, as we know. Greg goes about 6'8", 240. And he can D up almost any position. And the strength to deal with forwards, the quickness to cover guards. Also, he uses that strength to attack the rim and get himself to the line. Here's a look at some stats for Tobias Harris. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Five rebounds and two assists. Solid numbers. The kind of production we expect. And frankly, I think he's got another level to take it to. Yeah, think about this. He definitely has the skill set to put up even bigger numbers. It wouldn't be a surprise to see that in the coming days. Now, here's Kuzma. They can't stop the run with that one. The D doing everything they can to cut him off on his way to the hoop. Simmons passes to Simmons. High post, Embiid. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Redick is checked in. And then for Los Angeles, Mike Muscala is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Josh Hart comes in for Ingram. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Ball. And here are the 76ers now. They have a nine-point lead. 
Here's Butler. Just five on the clock. LeBron with the block. Oh, love watching James dominate on defense. An impressive rejection artist. You better check your rear view when you're driving to the hole. Here's Hart. The shot comes out, and Philadelphia the other way now. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. And that's what led them to a blowout win. Offensively, they were solid, but their defense was what really carried them. Los Angeles calls timeout. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting camps. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. Marjanovic checked in for the 76ers. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers. 11-point game. And the pass to Hart. Now, here's Bullock, guarded by Marjanovic. Now, Bullock. He's coming off a 19-point game against Indiana. Shot clock at 2. Rondo. Los Angeles with another miss. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. The shot's good. Reddick's got his first two points. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Pulls it up. Again, Philadelphia. And good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Here's Hart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Chris, your team's battled Kobe Bryant many times. Uh, name some of the players today who you think can compare mentally to, to the Kobe Bryants and the Michael Jordans, guys you play. Oh, wow. Well, well, Kobe says he's seen it in Kyrie Irving and and the Greek freak and a few others. Uh, mm. I've seen it in Westbrook and how hard he plays and, and, and KD. And, and I, you know, I don't think Steph Curry's just this little nice, helpless guy out there on the court to shoot threes and turn around. He's <laughs> one of those guys, too, that just wants to put that dagger into your heart with a deep three late in the game. So definitely Westbrook, KD, uh, Curry, uh, uh, those guys come to mind for me. Mike Scott's checked in for the 76ers. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. We'll see, Webb, there were a ton of huge personalities on this 76ers team from the Stars right on down to the rotation players. Well, it starts with the NB, you know. He's talking junk out there. And think about the quiet swagger that Simmons plays with. This group genuinely get along, and they play for each other. The trials they went through to get here as a core, uh, they should have all the confidence in the world. Here's Simmons following the basket by LeBron James. Pass to Marjanovic. To the paint. No good from Simmons. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing. Those two things that he possessed. Now, here's Bullock. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He was all alone on that one. Muscala's got it back down to single digits for the Lakers. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple to the middle and stolen by James and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here 
That's on J.J. Reddick. The Lakers have gone two for two in the game at the line. Only 71% from the line last season. And rest assured, they're hoping to bring those numbers up this year. And he can't get the first one. And see, Webb, so many talk about the 2001 Lakers and how they might be one of the greatest teams to ever play. You saw their talent firsthand. What do you think? Uh, I think they had Kevin, a Hall of Fame coach, uh, two uh, of the greatest players to ever play the game, and Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. And uh, right there, that 15 and 1 in the playoffs. That's the gold standard. I mean, Kobe and Shaq were very motivated that year, and uh, you know, that, I think they're in the conversation for our best team ever. Now, here's McConnell. Outside, Scott. Here's Marjanovic, and that time, also a missed shot. Lakers trail by seven. James kicks to Hart. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And think about Kevin, this talented 76ers team. Uh, Coach Brown helped shape and form the core of this roster. I mean, he's come up with the group uh, much as they have grown under him. And with Brown, he has the trust of the players because they have gone through the same trying time. Uh, and, and let's not undervalue uh, what stability is meant for this group. Having a coach like Coach Brown, uh, who has been through the ups and downs uh, with the Sixers, uh, it, it makes players play that much harder for him. First one falls for him. Fall, so he hits both of them. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Leading by five. McConnell finds Marjanovic. Back to McConnell. Outside Butler. And he comes up with the deuce. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. And here's Los Angeles. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. James looking around. And there it is for him. Well, oh, come on. We all know LeBron is used to getting fouled. But it's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. And Greg, what else is there to say about LeBron? One of the best to ever play the game. I mean, he's been the face of the league for so long. And... He's done a tremendous justice to that title. Has always played with so many expectations and, and really has met every single one of them. It's a once in a lifetime chance to see a guy like LeBron in the NBA and he's truly been a generational talent. Free throw good James. Oh, you love how effortless James makes this game look. Everything comes easy to him. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. There's a minute 40 left here in the opening quarter. McConnell kicks to Scott. When it came to a big man's responsibilities, you helped pave the way for so much change in that regard. But what are some of the big C Web now doing that weren't done when Two you shots. were playing? I don't know, Kevin, if it was anything that they weren't doing, but it's the freedom to do it with consistency. 
So even if we talk about a Larry Bird who only could shoot maybe a three and a half a game. Let's just round it up to two threes a game. Well, now, what if Larry Bird had the freedom to shoot ten threes a game like guys do now? And so I think that the game has caught up with players' skill set as opposed to the skill set catching up with players' game. So no longer are you held to being a big man. Now you can be a basketball player. And being a basketball player for Dirk Nowitzki is much better than him being a big man. Dirk Nowitzki being a basketball player that he is means that he is a threat wherever he is on the floor because he's not just limited to a two-foot box space there in the post. And for defenders like myself, I would much rather Dirk Nowitzki have to stay two feet in the post than to be able to shoot the ball whenever, wherever he wanted to. Because I tell you what, now you got a problem because he can knock it down from anywhere and everywhere that he wants to. Oh, the float is a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. James dishes to Bullock. Pass to Hart. Pulls up on the wing, and he hits the jump shot. Hart's got nine points. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. And the type of game that many coaches hate. Very little defense being played on either end. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Mike Muscala. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Second free throw. No good. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight guys. LeBron kicks to Caldwell Pope. Can't tie it up as that one misses. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Scott the pass to McConnell. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is just another case where being aggressive wins out. Rondo with the ball. One second left, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that concludes the first quarter of play. 76ers on top. They lead by five. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Well, you see a lot of players who pick up a controller and fire up NBA 2K, thank goodness, <laughs> including the king himself, LeBron James. I play 2K all the time. Seriously, when I'm playing the game, I'm putting certain lineups on the court that I see could actually help us in real life, which is very weird. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, Greg, with basketball. And that's who Braun is. He lives, breathes, and eats basketball. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. Oh, well, yeah, small lead so far, but he's building fast, and they better watch out. Marjanovic is out there with Mike Scott, and it's T.J. McConnell, Then there's Jimmy Butler. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now, here's McConnell. He kicks to Butler. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. I'm sure he thought that was good when they left his fingertips. A matter of fact, I know he did. And good that time. 14 points for LeBron. And this speaks volumes to the confidence of James. He's tremendous shooting off the dribble. And he 
we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. The Lakers with the rebound. Loose ball. Loose ball. Going the other way. And the 76ers with some changes. Joel Embiid comes in for Marjanovic. And Jonathan Simmons subbed in for Butler. The Lakers also making some changes. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for James. Lance Stevenson comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Rajon Rondo. Now, here's Ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Philadelphia leading by three. Now, let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Brett Brown coached the Sixers team through some really lean years. Now, the promise started to show last season, but he said, I don't feel close to the notion that we've arrived. I'm hardened, just doing my job and moving forward. Kevin? And continuing the process, D.A., thanks. Now, here's Kuzma. Last game, he had 12. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Stevenson outside from 12 feet out and good got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim great work to find the space to get off the open jump he's going to work hard for those guarded by Kuzma McConnell in the corner kicks to Embiid Trying to get something going, and he sinks the layup. Embiid's got his third basket of the night right there. Oh, man, he's a polished interior player. I love seeing Embiid establish himself down low and then go to work. Stevenson passes the ball. Lock at six. The pass to Muscala. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Philadelphia leading by three. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Over Muscala. And Embiid gets it to go. Embiid's got eight points. He's utilizing all that limp to perfection. I mean, Embiid, even when you can test him inside, he's still the finisher. And Stevenson kicks to Muscala. Sinks the triple. A player with this length and his touch from three-point range, I mean, that's just a great asset to have. And here's McConnell. Passes it to Simmons. Here's MB. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And MB throws it down. It's easy to admire Embiid. I mean, the game seems to come so easy to the big fella, especially when it comes to dunk. Timeout called the Lakers. But Luke Walton, he's definitely a coach players like to play for. I mean, it helps that he was a player not too long ago. Both stars and role players appreciate the candor and the opportunity he provides them. Both teams deciding to change it up. Taking a look at some stats for Embiid. Coming off a terrific season. Put up about 23 points per. 11 rebounds and 3 assists. And you look at his score and he was number one on the team last season. His ability to play through contact. His exceptional concentration. That's what makes him a great finisher. Now here's Kuzma. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Ingram wide open. Good on the triple. Three-point range from his days at Duke. Ingram shoots with range. 
for Philadelphia. They've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. And Simmons kicks to Reddick. Floats one. Stolen by McGee. Pass to Ingram from 13. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. Ingram's got five points now this quarter. You got to play up on Ingram, especially when he's looking to shoot from the mid-range area. 76ers trailing. Right side, Simmons. Reddick with the three. Knocks down the three ball. Reddick's got seven points in the game. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Stevenson kicks to McGee. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Ball. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Now Simmons. Pass to Simmons. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Ball no good. Philadelphia has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. And Simmons slams it in. And this is what a point guard should do. Simmons is so adept at noticing when the defense is overcommitted. Ball dishes to Ingram. Stevenson outside. And it's blocked by Simmons. And the reach of Simmons. I mean, coming into play on these blocks, you got to be careful shooting around this guy. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Lance Stevenson. Seventy Sixers have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Ball. There's the pass to Kuzma. To the inside. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. To the wing right side. Bullock sinks the triple. Bullock's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. And Simmons kicks to Harris. To Reddick. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Embiid's got the game tied up here for the 76ers. Oh, man, you better appreciate the unselfishness. When Reddick sees an open teammate, as great of a shooter as he is, he's fast at getting him the ball. Now here's Ingram. He's got seven. Oh, yeah, look, now you can see how Ingram has developed in his short time in the NBA. Got a little bit stronger attacking the basket. He's the former number two pick, and he's gained steam with confidence. And maybe one day he can be an elite scorer. He's starting to develop a little bit of a killer instinct when he has the ball. Butler, he's checked in for Simmons. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in. Butler kicks to Harris. Simmons against Ball. Six to shoot. Simmons finds Butler. Shoots over Bullock. The 76ers again can't hit it. And with Ingram, he now wants the ball and wants to attack defenders each time down the floor. Yeah, Kevin, and that doesn't just mean he's doing it with scoring. He's become a great drive and kick playmaker as well. Now, for me, the next step for him is to emerge as a vocal leader. Uh, something that the L.A. office is hoping he can become. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And James is super strong, incredible at powering through the defense. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Marjanovic checked in for MB. Rajon Rondo is checked in for the Lakers.
And that one misses. Philadelphia's gone two of four from three point range so far in the second quarter. Butler kicks to Reddick. Right side, Simmons. The 76ers need to get off a shot, and Butler gets it to go. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Passes it to Bullock. Rondo against Simmons. And the slam dunk by McGee. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. Outside, Reddick. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Outside, Butler. Shoots over Bullock. Butler, no good. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. The shot's good from McGee. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him now. Rondo against Simmons. McGee with the block. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Philadelphia has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Down low and stolen by James. Dishes it to Rondo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And like the physicality he brings to the floor. Outstanding at drawing fouls while shooting. It's his first trip to the line. A free throw drops for Rondo. And there's no denying that Rondo is a wizard with the ball. Exceptional at exploiting holes in the defense. And the Lakers making a change here. Hart's checked in. And so Rondo hits both free throws. Here's Simmons. 20 points for him last game against Toronto. Uh, don't forget his rebounding work, too. They couldn't contain him on the glass. Releases from the wing and drills it. Simmons got eight points. Great to see Simmons knock it down from him, and his jump shot must keep improving. McGee in the high post. Shoots over Marjanovic. McGee's shot is off. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. James against Harris. Here's McGee. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got his fourth rebound in this one. There's 38 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Puts it up from 17. Again, Philadelphia. And this is what you want to see from Simmons. I mean, you want to see him drain the ball in the in-between spots. It only makes him more confident. LeBron passes to McGee. And that one drops for him. McGee's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now here's Butler. He's guarded by Bullock. Butler with the ball. Shoots over Bullock. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time.
And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? It's much different. Um, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He had 12 points, 5 assists, and 1 block. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, I like that they're aggressively going to the rack. That establishes an attitude, a certain toughness. They just need to stay committed to their game plan. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, one thing happened that really helped them out. Their bench came in and played absolutely beautiful. Gave them a huge boost. Not just trying to hold court, but actually putting points on the scoreboard. These guys should be starting, Ernie. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Welcome back, everyone, to Philadelphia. There's City Hall, an amazing building. Such a great part of this historic American city. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, and when you're trying to check a guy like that, you have to move your feet laterally, defensively. That didn't happen. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Starting off the second half, here's Luke Walton's five. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Ball out there with Ingram. And it's McGee in at the five down low. A problem inside. That's what he is. Once Simmons gets the ball in the positioning that he wants, he goes for the throwdown. The Lakers trail. On the wing, James. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That is his first foul of the game. James outside. Lock at six. Pulls up. The Lakers rebound. McGee. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And without a doubt, the voice of this team, the face of this franchise, is center Joel Embiid. Chris, he's embraced it from the beginning. The 76ers knocked it out the park when they took the risk of drafting Embiid. To have a star like Embiid be so personable, 
It's rare. I mean, he's practically the voice of the city at this point. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water. It was like an urban war zone. We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. And his drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. The timing, the precision. You got to respect Kuzma's ability to drain shots off the pass. Ingram against Simmons. He kicks it to Simmons. Now here's Ingram. Nine points in the game so far. Ball with it. Now defended by Embiid. Ball against Embiid. Ball dishes to Ingram. Knocked away. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Harris. Butler against James. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just one point on the basket from Butler. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. Down low. And the slam dunk by McGee. Something that James has really mastered. He has a tremendous feel for when to pass in the screen to Rose. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Now here's Simmons. He's got 14. A defender nowhere near him, and he still can't hit it. Uh, uh, he wants that one back. To the inside. Pass to McGee. James against Harris. James finds McGee. And Bede with the steal. Simmons inside. He's covered by Ingram. Simmons passes to Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got six assists here tonight. And what a baller this guy is. The big fella, Embiid. I mean, he welcomes getting physical and overwhelms the defense with his size and muscle. Timeout called the Lakers. Well, think back to when Ben Simmons was first drafted as the top pick in 2016. Everyone knew he could be a playmaker as a small forward. But really, he functions fully as a point guard when he's out on the floor. Mike Scott's checked in for Philadelphia. T.J. McConnell comes in for Ben Simmons. And then for Los Angeles, Muscala, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. And it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for James. Now, here's Ball. Ingram kicks to Ball. Out of bounds, it'll be 76ers Ball. And Chris Simmons, a player that almost transcends the traditional basketball position. But he's a playmaker, plain and simple. He has the height and vision and skill to line up anywhere. Simmons, he could be viewed as a generational talent when it's all said and done. McConnell scanning the floor. Here's Butler. Pass to Embiid. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. All right, a chance to check out stats for McConnell. How he did last season. He put up about six points per game last season. Four assists and three rebounds. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. He hustles, does the little things, just a good complimentary guy who you need on your team. With some arc, it's blocked. 
Stevenson outside from about 16. Jump shot is good that time. And the Lakers lead by three. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Guarded by Kuzma. And that one is hammered home. <laughs> and did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Yeah, guys, and his teammates love it. Got to get him a few big pats on the back. Now, here's Ball. Guarded close over McConnell. Ball no good. For Philadelphia, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. And here's McConnell. For the lead. They get it again. MB. Count it. And he's now eight of nine from the floor. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Ball kicks to Stevenson. Softly drops in the floater. Stevenson's got four points this quarter. Yeah, and that's the kind of aggressive attitude Stevenson brings to the table. He's not going to sit back and settle for jump shots. If he can attack the basket, he will. The pass to Embiid. Drills it from outside. He's got five. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. Now, here's Stevenson. Six points for him. Caldwell Pope for three. Philadelphia's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Stolen by Stevenson. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That is his first foul of the game. And Philadelphia making a change here. Redick is checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Ajan Rondo is checked in for ball. Stevenson inside the three-point line. That one a little long. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Now here's Rondo. He's covered by McConnell. Rondo finds Stevenson. Here's Caldwell Pope. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. Stevenson's got three assists now in this one. Philadelphia's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Down low, here's Embiid. With the offensive game of the big fella. I mean, Embiid's game is so polished. That's why you can't let him get hot. Lakers have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Stevenson outside. Takes the 13-footer. Yep, that one goes in there. Stevenson's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Count that one. He's got seven. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. Stevenson outside. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. He's covered by Muscala. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The 76ers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Two shots. 
and he knocks down the first one. And the 76ers with some changes. Marjanovic checked in for Embiid, and it's Ben Simmons in for T.J. McConnell. And the Lakers also making a switch. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Both good from the line that time. Lakers trail by four. Now Stevenson. Eight points for him. Rondo passes to Muscala. Back to Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Kuzma. Fires the three. Hands it from downtown. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. An outstanding three-point shooter. Kuzma is a prototype stretch four. That makes him very valuable. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Los Angeles making a switch here. Bullets checked in. Reddick surveying the D. A three ball. Rebounded by the Lakers. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Now here's Bullock. Not a lot of room. Hart kicks to Muscala. A miss that time would have put him up. The 76ers lead it. Here's Simmons. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Oh, the brilliance of Simmons. You know, outstanding at getting fancy with the ball and taking risks from time to time. Here's Hart. Nine points in the game so far. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And look now at the various locations of the shots taken so far for MB. And really what jumps out to me about this shot chart is just how aggressive he's been when on the floor. I mean, he's doing everything he can to get as close to the hoop as possible before putting up that shot, and it's worked out in a big way for him and his team. Now here's Reddick. Ten points for him. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Here's Hart. Pass to Kuzma. Draws contact on the Hit. shot, and now a three-point play good. chance as he'll head to the line. Hit. Can't One shake shot. Kuzma. Even when you try to get physical with him, he maintains his focus. And there were a lot of hidden gems, Chris, in that 2017 draft, and Kyle Kuzma is right at the top of the list. Well, Kuzma was taken with the 27th overall pick, but he looked like a top-five pick, if you ask me. He probably was just for being a three-year player at Utah, but that time in college allowed him to hone his skill set. I mean, he came into the league with a wide variety One shot. of very polished moves. And it's tied up with that one. Yeah, and for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early. Already surpassed expectations. Now here is Harris. He has six. A rebound by the Lakers. muscala has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hart. Nine points in the game so far. He feeds it to Muscala. And again, no good by the Lakers. Philadelphia's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. 141 left in the third. Hart the pass to Kuzma. Back to Hart. Shot clock at six. For the lead. 
rejected by Harris. And Harris just using that long reach of his so well on defense. Shooters have to be more careful or he'll rise up and swatch your shot away. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Hart kicks to Ronda. Here's Hart covered by Reddick. The eight-footer, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Hart's got 11. Philadelphia leading by three. Simmons with it. 16 points for him. Pass to Reddick. Fires for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fifth assist in this one. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. Out to the wing. And the rejection by Marjanovic. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And that one, good. And now it's an eight-point Philadelphia lead. There's 21 seconds left in the third. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Rondo against Simmons. Rondo kicks to Hart. Buries the long-range jumper. 14 points for him. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. The third quarter comes to a close. 76ers lead by five. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Lakers trail by five. They've got Ben Simmons. J.J. Redick is out there with Jonathan Simmons. Then there's Harris. And it's Marjanovic in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group on the four for Philadelphia. Philadelphia's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on LeBron James. You know, you watch Ben Simmons play, and it isn't a surprise, Chris, that He's a threat to go off for a triple-double every time he suits up. But Simmons is going to have a lot of triple-doubles in his career. Great size and a knack for the ball when it comes to rebound. Two shots. That's good from Simmons. I mean, you got to love the skill set uh, Simmons possesses. A nightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stat sheet. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for the 76ers. He's perfect from the line this time. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Lakers trail by seven. Rondo dishes to Ingram. Shot clock at six, and Hart has it in the corner. Over Butler, and it comes off the front of the rim. The 76ers leading by seven. In the corner, Simmons with it. Drills it from outside. There isn't any player in the league who's going to pass up that shot. There was nobody near him. James outside. And the pass to Hart, and here is Ingram. Back to Hart. Sixteen feet away, and good that time. And just great offensive execution 
by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Well, yeah, you want to save your best for last. The guys on these teams know that. Now here's Simmons. Rondo on the double team. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And Philadelphia has possession. Butler finds Simmons. Philadelphia moving. Ooh. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. This is it to Hart. A three ball. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got assist number five here tonight. The 76ers leading by seven. Pass to Buck. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Rajon Rondo. And Jimmy Butler, you know, something of a quirky character, has a ritual whenever he's at a grocery store of paying the person's bill behind it. Doesn't care if it's 99 cents or 2,000. First free throw is good. And Butler never afraid to be a little bit different listening to country music in the locker room, much to his teammates' chagrin. And in the offseason, riding around in a van with the baby on board sticker, even though he's single with no kids, remove the rearview mirror as a symbolic reminder to never look back. This guy's special. Here's Ball. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. James and the Lakers tack on two more. I mean, since he's wide open, he's got time to add a little style with the fatal. Outside, Simmons. And stolen by James. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And that one's good, Simmons. They are just killing him on the interior. Harris against LeBron. Now the dish, the ball. Now here's LeBron. Five to shoot. 17-foot shot on the way. Again, the Lakers. Oh, well, Kevin, you can't afford to let James get any separation. He's a terrific shooter off the screen. Here's Simmons. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. With the versatility of Simmons astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. LeBron with it. Butler covering. And Embiid with the block. And then they continue to control the glass. To the inside. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. And it's an 11-point 76ers lead. And once Simmons turns on the Jets, there's no stopping him. I love seeing him play with this much confidence. Throws it up high. Embiid with the steal. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. Feeds to Simmons. And stolen by James. Fast break. The Lakers over Harris. And the Lakers with another miss. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And that'll be the middle game of their five in their longest homestand of the year. Tobias Harris in his eighth season in the NBA and still just 26 years old. Yeah, I mean, one season at Tennessee, and he has slowly but steadily improved each year. And, you know, he's gotten stronger, more consistent, with his long-range shooting, and he's found his calling as one of those prototype small ball fours. And he knocks down the first one. Oh, wow. And Harris is a guy that really offers a ton of versatility. He can play both forward spots and is an efficient score from just about anywhere. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Los Angeles. And Harris. 
Harris drops them both. Lakers trail by 13. Ingram kicks to James. And they double up LeBron. Here's Kuzma. Good. And the assist goes to James. James has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Uh, good at taking initiative inside. Once Kuzma is near the hoop, he's focused on scoring. Now here's Simmons. Harris, right side. Unloads. And that one's good by Butler. And the 76ers lead by 13. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. And you see he's not worried about what's on the scoreboard. He just wants to go ham each possession. James, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And Simmons kicks to Simmons. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Here's Butler. Off the inbound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And that pump fake of Butler has become deadly. You wonder if D. Wade has been giving him some pointers. you got to stay down if you're on defense. Free throw, good Butler. And just no question that Butler is a bona fide star. I mean, a tough, rugged defender who's also a juggernaut on offense. And so Butler nails both of them. Lakers trail by 15. Pass the ball. Now Kuzma. On the wing, James. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Now James loves pulling up immediately off the pass. You can't give him any breathing room, even when the pass is coming his way. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Fires from 14. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. Ball against Harris. Ball the pass to James. And that one, good. James has got 25 points in the game. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. And stolen by Kuzma. Kicks it to ball. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the level of concentration. It has to be demoralizing for the D seeing him sink these hard shots. Here's Simmons. It's not going to go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. To the paint. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from James. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Simmons on the wing. He's covered by ball. Simmons against ball. No good from Simmons. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Here's Kuzma. And that one drops. Kuzma's got 12 points in just the second half. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Now here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Yeah, yeah, and that's when he starts throwing it down. That's when they're coming at you from all angles. And the dunk by James. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. Well, they needed it. The game was threatening to get out of hand until they finally kicked into gear. Ball against Simmons. 
Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Still attacking. Building on this lead coming down the stretch. Well, what I like about it most is he's doing it efficiently. Now here's LeBron. Rejected by Hicks. Butler against LeBron. That one good for two. And now it's a 10-point Philadelphia lead. And when he gets inside, Butler's not going to be denied. Tremendous focus down low. Ball kicks to LeBron. Kuzma inside. Defended by Butler. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. Two, two shots coming up. Well, I just love the way Embiid controls the game and inserts his will on the floor. He's so sound offensively and has a terrific inside-out game. And defensively, he'll always challenge a shooter or someone foolish enough to drive in on. And the first one at the line is good. Well, with Embiid, the inside-out game, you mentioned, Chris, he can take over with his skill set. I like how calm and collective he is when he gets a player in the post. He doesn't need it on the block. If he gets the ball 10 feet away, he can still go to work. He looks great, whether he's facing up a defender or backing someone down. And so Butler nails both of them. I like that he's playing with an edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Ball, the pass to Kuzma. Ingram outside. Six on the shot clock. Releases from 15. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Uh, Kevin, it, it seems strange seeing someone Ingram's size handling the pick and roll, but that's why he's unique. And Simmons kicks to MB. Outside Butler. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. James, and so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and luckily they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Ball kicks to Kuzma. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Harris. And what a draft day steal for the Lakers who were able to get Kyle Kuzma who had been drafted 27th overall. Yeah, Kuzma came into the league far more polished than anyone expected. And you have to credit the young man's hard work and how he was able to make such a big splash that rookie year. And, and with how hard he works, Kuzma is going to be an impactful player in this league for a long time. Two shots. He throw good, Kuzma. Both shots good from the strike. And here is Simmons. 
156 left in the fourth. Tries it from 19. That one a little long. Guy has a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket from Kuzma. Uh, it's just been one of those nights from he got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. The feed to Embiid. From eight, and that one is good. Embiid's got 20 points. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. And the three ball is good. Oh, look at that awareness of ball. Fantastic at recognizing when his teammates are wide open. Simmons against Ball. And Simmons kicks to Harris. The pass to Butler. Inside. Stolen by McGee. Not completely over, but it, it, it's getting close. Yeah, we, we know some crazy stuff happens out there, but everything would have to go their way for them to finish this off. Philadelphia's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. There's Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. Hey, look, he's not an easy man to defend. He'll get his points one way or another. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by seven. There's 49 seconds left to play in the final quarter. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Ben Simmons. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Luke Walton was saying to the team. He told him this game wasn't over yet. He said, don't give up. If you make a few big plays, we're right back in this game. Stay the course. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. One shot. Free throw good, Kuzma. Now Simmons. Here's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. Uh, what I love about the big man is his fearlessness. I mean, Embiid, he's a leader who feels comfortable taking big shots. Ball gets to Kuzma. Over Harris. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Love how much Kuzma believes in himself. An absolutely fearless competitor in clutch situations. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five.
so he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Okay, those free throws helping him to make the lead even safer. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by six. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-four seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Ball kicks to Kuzma. Over Harris. It's good! And now they trail by just four. And it only takes a few buckets for Kuzma to get going. He's a crafty, dangerous scorer. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well, that's what I call cool under fire. That, you know, those should be the nails in the coffin. Ball, the pass to Hart, takes the three. No good on that one. And now we've got the intentional foul. the first that makes it a seven point lead and he is unable to get the second one I'm deep offline. So Philadelphia wins it. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Jimmy, you have been outspoken about the need for maximum effort. Was it part of your plan to grab wins like the one we saw tonight? It wasn't a part of my plan, but whatever works, works. I think we got a, a bunch of talented guys, but at times we forget how hard we got to play. On the road at home, this is how we got to play basketball. Jimmy, thanks for the time, man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.